The Coelophant and the Varg are two mobs with an interesting dynamic. It can be seen as the epitome of life and death and don't starve. This episode will focus on the Coelophant and the Varg, how to hunt them, and more importantly, how to kill them. Before even thinking about fighting the Coelophant or the Varg, make sure you're ready. Always have a weapon and armor and possibly a couple healing items. Having a good amount of hunger, health, and sanity is also a good idea. This may be a difficult fight. Be ready to run if things go sour. If you pay attention to the ground, you may find some suspicious dirt piles every once in a while. This is how you'll find the Coelophant or Varg. When you click the dirt pile, your character will brush away the dirt, reveal a footprint, and make a comment about a nearby animal. Follow the direction the footprint points to to find another suspicious dirt pile, and rinse and repeat this until your character makes a different comment about a beast being nearby. At this point, you'll need to be careful. Either the Coelophant or the Varg has just spawned. The tracks don't tell you anything except for which direction to go, so don't assume you'll find one mob over the other, although the Coelophant is much more common than the Varg. Rotate your camera around as much as possible, and walk slowly in the direction the last footprint pointed you to to find out which mob spawned. Note that these dirt piles can disappear if you aren't fast enough or if it's raining. You need to continuously follow the tracks to find the animal at the end of it. Try to avoid tracking when it's raining, because the tracks may wash away, making it a complete waste of time. The Coelophant is a neutral beast that'll attempt to flee when you get near it. For this reason, they can be somewhat annoying and dangerous to kill. Be careful when chasing it through areas that are populated with dangerous mobs like killer bees, hounds, and tentacles, or through areas you haven't explored yet. You may find yourself in a less than ideal situation. There are several ways to engage a Coelophant. A ranged weapon like a boomerang is the easiest way to force a fight. If you don't have a ranged weapon, it becomes more difficult. With a melee weapon, ideally you'll want to force it into a wall. If you angle it correctly, it'll run against the wall so you'll be able to force the fight. When it gets cornered, hit it once and walk away. It'll immediately try to counterattack. At this point, the fight becomes easy. The Coelophant has very slow attack speed, so you can weave in 6 attacks between each of its attacks. But if you want to be safe, 4 or 5 attacks is enough. The Coelophant has deceptive range, but in your favor. It's a lot shorter than it seems, so it'll have a hard time hitting you. If it does happen to hit you, it'll take quite a bit of damage. There are two types of Coelophants, the pink one and the white one. The white one only appears in winter and has slightly different drops. The Coelophant is one of the best sources of food in the game. It drops 8 pieces of meat and a Coelophant trunk. When the Coelophant trunk is cooked, it spoils slower and restores more health and hunger. It's one of the best food items in the game, rivaling many crockpot recipes in efficiency. This means that the Coelophant can potentially save you from starvation or death. If you opt to leave the trunk intact, you can make either a breezy vest or a puffy vest. They're very similar items, but the puffy vest is better overall because it provides the highest amount of insulation you can get for winter, slowing down freezing significantly. But it has to be winter before you can even make it because you need the winter Coelophant trunk, so it's a bit counterintuitive. It's still a great option when you get the chance to make it though. Alternatively, the breezy vest gives some water resistance, so it's an option during spring. It also gives some insulation, but not nearly as much as the puffy vest. Both items have innate sanity regen, so regardless of what season you want to use them in, they're both pretty good. The Varg is an aggressive giant hound that'll attack you the moment you get near it. It's one of the most difficult mobs in the game to kite effectively. If you get the Varg instead of the Coelophant, I highly recommend running away unless you're absolutely ready to fight it. Like a hound, it does high damage with moderate attack speed. The difference is, it has a lot more health and attack range. Additionally, the Varg summons hounds to the fight every once in a while, turning a one-on-one -on -one fight into a giant brawl where you have a huge disadvantage. Essentially, the Varg is a timed fight. You'll want to kill it before you get completely overrun by hounds. If that happens, you'll probably want to run. A lot. And really far away. And because of how dangerous it is to keep the Varg alive for long periods of time, you may just want to straight up tank it and smack it to death. If you want to kite it, you can hit it two times before it'll counterattack. Be wary of its howl. A few seconds after its howl, multiple hounds may enter the fight, including fire and ice hounds, depending on the season, so you have to kite even more. Since kiting multiple mobs takes significantly more effort and micromanagement, it generally takes longer, meaning more hounds will likely appear. This can snowball out of control, which means you'll probably have to run. A lot. A good way to kill a Varg is to fight it near mobs that are hostile towards hounds. This includes pigs, bunnymen, beefalo, and tentacles. These mobs will assist you in the fight if you stay near them long enough. 
Tentacles are generally easier to find compared to the other ones, because they're always in the marsh biome. Tentacles attack anything above it, so if a hound walks over it, after a few seconds, it'll pop out and slap the hound and grab its attention. When the tentacle hits a hound, nearby hounds will likely get attracted to it and attack the tentacle as well, making it easier for you to manage the varg and kite it. Keep in mind that when the varg howls for hounds, those hounds will go directly towards you first, so keep on running them over the tentacles if this happens. The most efficient way to kill a varg is to leave it alone the moment you find it and go find some followers. Pigs will do the trick. If you have a couple pigs with you, it makes the fight really easy. The varg drops up to 3 hounds teeth and 6 monster meat when killed. Since it also spawns hounds, you'll get the drops as well. The Koalifant and the Varg add an interesting element of RNG and risk to the game, but by knowing how to deal with both of them, it removes the threat they pose, particularly the Varg. Once you master the hunt, nothing will stop you from amassing an icebox full of meat and monster meat. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll never starve again!